How do you do? I'm Graham Murphy, a product manager at Tech Reynolds, and today I'm just going to show you the Testo 420 air balance hood. It's in rather a big box. I hope we'll show you up, uh, open it up, and show you the various bits. Um, we put it in a large box because of uh, shipping interstate, etc. But you, when you pick it up, you can you need and take the box with you if you don't want to. Okay, when we open the box, we've got the accessory list here and a calcert. Now here's the the basic instrument with the 610 by 610 hood. Got other hoods in here as well. We've got a uh, 1220 by 610 hood. We've got a uh, 360 by 360 hood. It's a little one. And we've got a 1220 by 305 hood. So there's four hood kit. As well as that, uh, we've got a tripod stand with a couple of wheels. And across the back here, this is these are some rods which you put, uh, which we'll just go through in a second, show you how to assemble the instrument. Okay, um, opened up the main bag here, by the way. Also, you'll find in here there's, if you need it, there's a pitot tube and a couple of tubes to connect the manometer that's on the instrument. We've, once we've opened it up, we've got to identify these little corner bits. Now, there's four of these points. Now, we insert this, we put it into the uh, little corner down the bottom, and, and then we hook this on. Now, we followed the white line inside here. Now we do this for each one of these. So we end up with four in place. Very easy. So I just put that on the base bit down there. Hook it. And we do it across here. Again. Hook this one. And the last one here. That's it. Right, now we've got the hood assembled. So I've undone done the Velcro. And now I can lift the whole thing up. There we go. Okay, you can see inside here how these rods have gone in place and they're following the white lines. Okay, now just to, to assemble the tripod, we just need to uh, open it up. Now you notice there's an arrow here. We slide these on and lock them off against the, um, uh, uh, just turning this screw, so that we put our wheels onto the tripod. Okay, now we lift it up, lift the hood up, and just simply put the hood onto the stand, slotting it right in. Okay, now we've put it together, we're under the vent here, I'll just release these couple of knobs here. These are tight so it'll fit in the case. Right, it's now loose. Now I'm gonna bring it up and put it over the particular vent and I can lock it off. Okay, we turn it on, hit this button. It boots up quite quickly and here are our measurements. Now, it's in the manual, it's not obvious from the display. We just simply hold this up arrow here until we see the Bluetooth symbol appear. All right, there's our Bluetooth symbol there. Okay, having turned on the Bluetooth, we just simply run the app up. Uh, we can, uh, first time it comes up, it asks for header information. We can import, uh, we can put a comp our company name, add contacts, add logo, etc. Anyway, when we continue, it comes back, it automatically, it will find the device. Here we go. And we wait here for a second and we will get continuous measurements. There we go. So now we've got the, um, that's there, the readings. We can walk around the building and still collect the readings. It's a bit of a game changer, this, very simple. And here's various options down here, of um, producing reports, Excel, trend lines, etc. Make whatever reports you need and email them, very simple. Okay, we're collecting information here. Now I'll just go through connecting an, um, uh, an iPhone to it, which is very similar, um, but the instrument can only talk to one uh, phone at a time. So in order to talk to it with the iPhone, I'll need to come over here and go to settings and switch my Bluetooth off here and disconnect it. All right, so we're, we've can disconnected that. Now here's the um, iPhone version. Now I need to turn my um, Bluetooth on, which I have. And now I just run the app up. There's the device, we connect to it. And here's the measurements coming through. Now, this combined with the stand make this 
instrument a game changer. It's a one-man operation instead of a two-man operation.